The following is a production of New Mexico State University. For over 50 years, the Denver Botanic Gardens have been among America's leading public parks. Today we're focusing on one special collection. Paniote Kalaidis is showing us the rock garden here, the rock alpine garden. You're the, on the board of the North American Rock Garden Society. That's right. I'm my second term, Curtis, mm -hmm. and it's great to have you here. And you're showing us some really spectacular things. What's this beautiful blue flower? That's uh, Anchusa capensis is the Latin name. It's uh, the Cape forget-me-not. Cape, okay, so that's from South Africa. It's from South Africa, and it's usually uh, considered an annual, but we discovered that it's perfectly hardy, hmm. and we're planting quite a few more of them along here because that blue is so dazzling. All right, right next to it here is a beautiful pink. The, yeah, the pink you'll see all along this border is a diacea, a twin spur, and they're usually thought of as being very delicate plants that need a lot of water and moisture, but I collected this from a hot, dry part in the Cape, and this one really likes our southwestern conditions. Another very famous southwestern plant is this ice plant here. This is one we're calling Table Mountain, and we just released that this year for the first time. Uh, you know Cooperite, but mm -hmm. this, this is a little bit uh, softer color. It's not that really harsh purple, uh -huh. and the foliage on this uh, remains even more attractive in the wintertime. Uh -huh. We think it's a better plant. Very good for, uh, throughout the southwest. I would say, yeah, throughout the United States, actually. That's performed very well, even in the Midwest and the East Coast. Wow. And then this one? The paper flowers, or straw flowers, are found all over Eurasia, but it, the greatest concentration is in South Africa, where they have about 300 different kinds. Wow. And this is one I collected seed of in South Africa, and it blooms all summer with these funny, papery flowers. If you touch them, they kind of rustle. I like those. And they drive very well. They do, indeed. See, it looks like uh, lavender here. That's beautiful blue. Well, yes, Curtis, that's uh, a little bit different. You're probably mostly familiar with uh, English lavender. Mm -hmm. Well, this is French lavender. It's a oh, hybrid. Okay. And this is what they actually do the, uh, the lavender uh, oil oh, comes okay. from this. And, and it's striking in contrast with the red penstemon here. Of course, the penstemons are mostly spring bloomers, but there's a few that bloom later in the year. And this is one from, from New Mexico. It should uh, make you feel right at home. Right? I feel a lot better now. Good. And as I look over, I see another plant that reminds me of New Mexico, a yucca. Well, it's not your state flower. That ah. one's a little miniature yucca. Ah. And you can see clustered right here up against a rock. That's mm -hmm. how we like to grow things in a rock garden. And of course, we like the tiny forms. How, how big will this get ultimately? Well, that's it. You're looking at a granddaddy here. It's actually pupping around. You can see ah. little babies that have popped up. This is a very special one from Utah. And then, what's this? I see this showing up in a lot of different places. The, orig so. the oregano, or oregonum, is... Uh, an ornamental one. This Oregano. is not one we use in, in cooking. This is uh, one from Lebanon, but it's very ornamental. It looks like hops. Over here, though, it looks like another kind of oregano. Now, this one you can cook with. Uh, this is the true wild marjoram, which oh. is used in herbs. And the bees love it. They do indeed. Well, and there's more to see yet, so let's keep on going and see some other things. Okay. This is the, the common status you see in gardens, C status. There's another one right there. That's the German status, which is a much paler and dwarfer form. This is good for dried arrangements, isn't it? Both cut of, flowers. Both of them, if you cut them, they dry beautifully. Okay, and what's this? It looks just like a petunia, but it's actually uh, in a tropical family, but this is one that's very hardy. It's the hardy petunia. It loves it hot and dry. Well, we've got plenty of that in the Southwest. And the Oringo over here is really spectacular. This is uh, one of the many C uh, Oringos, and uh, that blue color is just electric, isn't it? Yes, that's really nice. Looks good against the rocks here, which in a rock garden you'd expect. Well, this is a, a, a rock outcrop I'm particularly proud of, and it makes me feel like I'm uh, really bringing a little bit of the Southwest back home. Thank you for showing this to us. Thank you, Curtis. Really appreciate your coming. It's great. The preceding was a production of New Mexico State University. The views and opinions in this program are those of the author and do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the NMSU Board of Regents.